Hi, we're going to do a review of an iPad app today called Melbourne Museum. And I thought the best way to introduce this app to you is to take you on a virtual tour. So let's go into the app now. I'm going to start by launching the app on the iPad. And the first thing you'll notice as we get onto the landing page is the quality of photographs that's being used in this app. They're really very, very good. And it gives you a feel about the quality of the exhibits that are being used, uh, that are being shown here. So we're going to get into one of the exhibits now. You'll notice that the layout of the exhibits are really very clear. You start by the app giving you an instruction of how to use the overall app and how to maneuver around. you notice that there are quite a few categories of exhibits that are available for the user to go in and explore. So we're going to close the instruction now and launch into an exhibit. It starts off by telling you a little bit about the photograph and each photograph is an exhibit with some information about what the exhibit is about. There is instructions about what to do with this exhibit. So you could swipe through the pages and when you are at one of the interactive page to follow the instructions appropriately. Um, you could add the information to your favorites. You could communicate the exhibit. So this could mean emailing it to someone that comes with a photograph, which we're not going to do today, so we're going to cancel. Or you could add it to your Facebook or even Twitter it. As you move along through the exhibits, and I'll just give you a sample of what's available. You get to have a sense about using some of these as your primary source. And students get to see some of the real information that's available, such as this one, which is the first Federation document or even some of the war postcards that are available. When I was thinking about this app, it struck me that instead of taking my students for an excursion to Melbourne U Museum, that they could download this app and use it as a replacement for the excursion. But about thinking it through again, I think this could also be an app that can complement um, the Melbourne Museum excursion. So for example, they could be used as a follow-on uh, lesson where students can do activities in relation to what they've seen in the museum or as a pre-lesson, as a preparation before they go for the excursion where students can orient it themselves and prepare for what they will see at the museum. So this is quite an interesting application, absolutely free. What I didn't like about this app was the lack of choices that are available. So you are actually limited to some of the exhibits that are put available here. And although they will be able to fill in a lesson easily, you probably would be um, not able to go beyond the lesson using this app. The other disadvantage is the ability to control where students go with this app. So it's really exploratory and students would want to try the different things that are available um, in this app and it might be difficult to keep students focused.